the project P1. P1 is going to be about an analysis of a single circuit and when we talk about the circuit at this level we have to imagine a box that is powered you know it's connected to the ground and then is connected to the BCC power supply that is the usual situation naturally and then you have a set of inputs for example let's imagine that you have n different inputs and you can name them x n minus one down to zero you know a set of n inputs and then generally you will have as well m outputs and you can name them this way m minus one and down to zero so that's the typical circuit that we will go on analyzing and designing this semester in this chapter one right for example the first circuit that you have in p1 in p1 it is uh, like that you have the box and this is for example the circuit W, right? So you have D1, D0, A and B as input to the circuit and this time you have a single output W. So the aim of the circuit is to find the W as a function of the D1 D0, A and B inputs. That's the idea, okay? And what, what is the, the main thing here? Well, this X and this Y are going to be digital signals. They are all the time zero or all the time one. That is the range of values. Only true or false. That is what we've got here all the time in this subject ones and zeros and so you know when we talk about a zero we talk about a, a ground potential you make it simple right now right g and d if you have zero volts or something like that you you have a zero a false for example value and when you have a one this is because you have BCC, for example, 5 volts or 3.3 volts, something like this. This is going to be the true value, right? False, true. Well, 1 and 0. That is what is going to be about X and Y all the time, okay? So here you are. For inputs, you are going to find an equation here and in the end, the analysis of the circuit will consist of uh, finding, you know, let's go finding the truth table. Let's go and find the truth table by means of an analysis. So in this way, we will know very well how the circuit works and this truth table it's something like B. It's going to be represented all the time the same way. A double line separating inputs and outputs. And then here on the left, you will connect the inputs. In the given order, right? That's very important. The order in which you are setting the inputs is fundamental here. So the two table will consist of this. Uh, the inputs ordered conveniently as stated in the formula and then the output on the other side, right? So the true table is basically a device that shows you every single combination. For example, considering the first value where every single input is zero, and then the next value where every single input is zero, except the B, which is one, and then the next value, which is zero, 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 one, zero, and you can go down to the final value of the table where everything is going to be one. So, you know, determining which is the value at every combination 
is the aim of the table, right? The aim of the analysis. So when we talk about analyzing a circuit, we talk about for a given circuit, for example, the circuit W, which is going to be organized around some gates. So finding its true table, right? That's the general specification of the problem. So let's try to let's try to draw the internal architecture of this circuit, okay? What, what is going to be the internal architecture? So, for example, you know, if you have four inputs, the, the circuit is going to be something like this. You know, you have the box, okay? And this is the circuit's name down there, circuit W. So, you have four inputs, D1, D0, A, and B. Okay, right, so now you have something like this. You have a, a buffer, and then you have an inverter. Then there is the same thing for the other input. A buffer, okay, and from the same input, an inverter so you are generating a literals you know a buffer and an inverter and finally for the last input the same stuff a buffer and an inverter okay so here you are all the inputs copied inside the circuit this is d1 and this is d1 not, this is D0, and this is D0, not, this is A, A not, and B, and B not. So you are here, all the values from which you can invent a given circuit, okay? So let, let's invent such a circuit. So in the end, you will have the output W, but here, for example, you have some connections. For example, you have A naught and B. A naught, B, and here you are, a gate, okay? Like this. This is a part of the circuit, just a gate. Then you've got another gate which is like this and it is D0 naught. All right. Then there is another gate here which has that kind of input D1 naught. Then you've got a and then B and then there is even another one which is connected to a one all the time and so finally you have a final connection here between this gate and that gate by means of an AND and this is the W output of this example right so this is a typical circuit that is built using logic gates right so you know our aim here if we have to uh, analyze this circuit the objective is going to be finding the true table of this circuit okay is that clear so you see, generally speaking now, we have to talk about gates, because those are the components, you see? Those are the uh, components, the components of this circuit is just this gate. So, how many gates we have here? So, that is the objective of the next explanation. So, but 
from this ticket you can very well imagine that we have to consider this buffer all right or non-inverter this inverter or not you know then we have to consider this or or this or with this bubble so this is going to be a nor we also may consider now uh, and you see uh, and or a uh, nand with two or more inputs but that's not important so you you can consider a and or a nand no and all right those are the more usual ones but then there is another another standard gate which is the shore so you can have the exclusive or gate that is symbolized like this this is the shore and naturally you can add here a final bubble so this is going to be the no shore all right so those are the more usual gates that you see as here can be used combined and using wires so you see you have components which are logic gates okay those are the components in the circuit w and then there is something very important naturally it is here all the time and this thing which is very important as much as the components are the wires you see the wires you know, the connections all right the wires to connect the gates uh, one to the next so this is a typical circuit you know four inputs one output and you have a given combination of logic gates ands, nans, nors, buffers, knots, and the like, whatever. So this is a typical example. So our aim, as you see, our aim is to try to find the true table of the circuit in some way or another. That's the purpose of the next lesson. In which way we can tackle the problem of finding the true table of the circuit, okay? And here is where you will find that we have a lot of resources to do that up to four different methods all right so in some way our aim is to analyze the circuit using four different methods to 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 start working with these kind of circuits all right